I've always loved the work of M.C. Escher and some of his prints do the most wonderful job of expressing paradox and infinity. And so I wanted to try and look at the concept of the Penrose Steps, this infinite staircase, and look at how could you build it in the real world? Is there some real world equivalent of it? And, and what we found through a lot of model building, just, just physically you know, building models, is there are different ways to achieve that illusion. Uh, they're all cheats, obviously. This isn't something that can exist in the real world. And so, you know, I devised a sequence whereby you would present it from one angle, the angle of optical illusion where it, where it works. Chris had already done some research and had decided how he wanted these Penrose steps to be. His first question to me is, can you build a Penrose step that actually works? And I said, well, of course you can. But actually, <laughs> it's almost impossible. We'd fitted the set into a location which was sort of a disused games company facility that was sort of constructed of steel and glass, you know, one of those typical modern, beautiful buildings. And we'd designed this staircase uh, in the same wood as the stairs that they had at this facility. So it almost looked like it was part of the environment. The steps have to be built in such a way that when you view them from the one angle, the topmost level of the staircase lines up with the bottommost level of the staircase. And so what visual effects is able to do is we're able to make computer models of all of this and work out exactly the dimensions of the steps that have to be built and where the camera has to be in three-dimensional space to be able to film it. It had to be done mathematically perfect. And in that, it had to be a particular lens at a particular height and distance, and the camera had to drop in a particular way to hide the trickery. The visual effects only real requirement on them was to remove the rig which supported the staircase because the structure would have been uh, probably a little dangerous had they not had a rig on it. It's visually quite dramatic and very carefully thought out. 